Boston police are going to be setting up barricades over here, anticipating a protest that may take place later on. So they're trying to, um, if they, in the event they do have a large protest or counter protest, they want to keep the opposing parties on each side of the road. Right down here at 300 Longwood Ave in front of the uh, Children's Hospital. Early morning set up for the uh, Boston police. They do have units staged um, in various different locations in the event that they have to respond out here. So um, this is what we have early, early morning set up. We're going to start setting up the uh, barricades. They, they may do both sides like they always do. They usually do a side over here and they got another barricade truck. Um, look further down, there's one right there on the, on the left hand side right there. So we're, we're just watching them set up and go from there. So they're going to set up on both sides. Uh, let's see what we got here. They're setting up on that side, and they're going to be setting up on this side over here as well. I'm not sure of the uh, turnout expectations. I know there was a group that did say they were going to be down here uh, protesting in front of uh, Children's Hospital. I don't know like how big the group is supposed to be, but um, we'll see what they have. And they do have uh, motorcycle uh, bike units and they have uh, patrol units on foot as well. So they're all going to be standing by out here, anticipating, you know, the worst. They do have a couple of staging points not too far from here. I'm not going to give up the uh, location where they're staged at, but they are staged various different locations. In case they got to respond over here immediately. Set up in front of the Boston Children's Hospital. Like I said, not too sure um, who who's going to show up or who they're expecting, but they are expecting the group to show up. This is Black Fan Street and. Along with that, this 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 that that's out of the way. I right, guess try, try to keep you guys informed. What's going on?
I, I, they're going to show you how long that been like that. Last year, or the year before, I did a video on that particular um, uh, man, or oh, I can't even call it manhole cover. We'll call it um, cover. It still hasn't been fixed yet. It's been over a year that's still sitting the same way. So it's all good? Okay. Look at one of my videos I made. I did that like last year and I think it's still like that. They go show how long that's been like that. I want to say it was it was definitely last year. It wasn't this year for sure. I want to say last. Uh, I have to get my videos. It had to be last year in the summertime. A little, bit of, a little bit of everything going on. Even if he, even if that post office guy did run the building, the, the police have no authority to tell him to move. This is an emergency because I understand no one's supposed to interfere with the U.S. Postal Service. No one's supposed to interfere. You know, there's a rule that no one must interfere with the the mail. The mail must not be delayed. Rain, sleet, sleet or snow, mail must go. And that's a rule of thumb that no one, no one, he's a federal employee. You, you're not supposed to even dictate their whereabouts or what they're supposed to do. So those, those are probably the people with the highest authority of the um, of the workforce, I should say. I said they're going to set up barricades. Uh, maybe no one may show up at all. Maybe somebody may show up. We don't know. But this is this is what we have. I'm setting up barricades on uh, both sides of the street. Now this is, you know, they, they typically do this. They set up on uh, one side for the, so usually the protesters will be, usually the protesters will be on maybe that side over there. The counter protesters will probably be over here. Or, it all depends, but usually the protesters are on the side of the street over there. But we'll see. the barricades on both sides so early morning
may not may not be nothing at all, but Morning. I, I don't know. If, I don't know if it's a good morning yet, but I, yeah. I say good morning anyway. Some of the uh, the bike units. It's probably we've seen the motorcycle unit. Now you get the bike units coming up now. Then you also got the uh, units on foot. So the bike units are coming through now. So, you know, this is the week of Friday the 13th. So, the week of Friday the 13th, there's a lot of, uh, you know, weird stuff. You just got to be, you know, extra safe, extra cautious. There's no shortage of police presence in this area. This area is going to be well, well uh, employed with a lot of police officers for this evening. Like I said, Boston Police is staged in various different areas for, for a fast response for this area right here.
So they're gonna um, put extra barricades on the side. And there's a reason why they put the extra barricades there. They got them on both sides. Those those are there for a particular reason. Top secret, can't tell you. <laughs> They're just preparing for, for a situation, a possible situation. You guys, you guys got the internal memo, right? They got going on over there, but now nothing, nothing serious though. I think I think it'd be all right. Just a little. Right now it's it's quiet, so this this could be considered a calm before the storm. Uh, it's, it's no activity going on right now. Like I said, it's no major activity going on right now. Just some setting up barricades on both sides of the street to keep the peace. Security, um, most of the security officers. They, they, they're pretty much well aware of it. This happens on a regular basis at Children's Hospital more often than the other hospitals. But um, they have a lot of protests that do take place here. Now this particular one, I'm not too sure of all the people involved, so I'm not gonna speculate on who these people may be. This car's kind of on a it's kind of on the wrong side right there. That's why that truck can't make that turn. He's on the wrong side of the road. Well, actually, he's not on the wrong side of the road. If he's making that left, you're on the right side of the road. We got the uh, secondary barricade truck right here. That's uh, just in case. Uh, they may use that truck, they may not, but um, we'll see. Alright guys, we have an early morning setup over here. I'll keep my eyes out just in case anything else comes up. Right now it's peacefully, it's quiet, there's no, no nothing going on. We're hope, hopefully, it's, uh, how you doing today? Good morning. Not too sure what that is. All right, guys. So uh, that's what we have so far.
That car is like directly behind that truck. Like didn't give him no wiggle room. He's got his flashing lights on and you're like tailgating that close. So right in front of the um, Boston Children's Hospital on Longwood Ave, 300 Longwood Ave to be exact. Good morning, Cat. All right, so that's what we have so far. Um, so far, it's quiet. It's peaceful. Uh, no problem so far. If I understand, it's mostly a peaceful protest, but usually the uh, counter protest is usually more rowdier than the actual protest. So um, we'll see how that works out. I right, guess if anything else comes up, we'll get back to you. But right now, it's just a uh, quiet area along with Ave. Doesn't seem to be any major problems at this moment. If anything else comes up, we'll get right back to you.